Hey, good day everybody, this is Sports Fanatic News, I'm Joe Boric, and this is going to be a quick preview to our Reading Royals versus the Anirondack Thunder, who are right above them in the division standings right now with one game more than the Reading Royals. Played 23 points to 21, if the Royals win tonight, they're tied right back up with those Anirondack Thunder that are 11, 8, and 1, where our Royals are 8, 6, 4, and 1, that have 21 points. Of course, Pritchard is not going to be in this game as he was assigned to a PTO by the Rochester Americans. Kirill Ustamenko also was recalled on the taxi squad. Um, So there's certain players. Drake was moved to the Wheeling Nailers. But new names do come in, so we'll have to see how they perform this evening. But when it comes to by the numbers... Uh, the Anirondack Thunder are much closer in goals scored and goals against. Literally just a two-goal separential for goals scored and goals against for the Anirondack Thunder. 60 goals scored to 62 goals against. They are another team. They haven't had as much power plays as some teams this year. Only 75 power plays, but only 16 is goals scored. So, again, not the uh, most potent power play, that's for sure. And then their penalty kill percentage, um, 56 penalty kills to 74. That ain't too shabby. Where our Reading Royals have 52, again, 10 goal differential for goal scored or goals against. 52 goals scored, 62 goals against. Same goals against, but less goals scored. Um, Where our Royals need to obviously also pick it up on the power play big time. The Royals have a 20 power play percentage. The Anirondack Thunder ain't much better. 21% only 1% higher. Uh, the penalty kills are pretty much the same as well. 75% for our Royals to 76% for the Anirondack Thunder. And then the Thunder have um, a shorthanded goal. Um, th this is going to be a game, obviously, where I've saw even at the NHL level watching games last night, like in the Coyotes game and even in the Toronto, not in the Toronto game, in the Tampa Bay um, game, you saw sloppiness from teams coming back from long extended breaks. Uh, the Anirondack Thunder have played. They actually played Worcester, who or Worcester, uh, who we were supposed to play on Monday, and then um, beat them on Sunday. So they have a game already. The Reading Royals don't, so they are going to have their skating legs under them. The Anirondack Thunder. So I expect them to get off to the better start, but then expect our Royals, as they've done all season, uh, to be able to make it up, and then have um very good. Um, play moving forward. Of course, even though we are not going to have in this game Pritchard, who's really stepped up, you brought in Anthony Gagnon, who's been solid. As a rookie, uh, you were able to get him in a trade. Obviously, we still got Deshara. We still got Lowe. We still got uh, Patty Bykoff. Hopefully, Winnie, I'm not sure if he'll be back in this game, Joshua Winquist, but he'll be back soon. Cressy's been a good rookie. Ryan Roth's been solid since coming over. Morrison has a lot more offense in that blade that he hasn't shown yet. Um, and then Kenny Hosinger, who's been okay this season, but had a very good preseason. I still expect to see um, him jump a little bit more. Uh, this is gonna, not going to be an easy game for Redding. Again, Anirondack has played. They're going to have their skating legs under them. Redding um, has had new guys come in and other guys move out, like David Drake and other guys go to the taxi squad. So they are, of course, shorthanded like they've been most of this season already. So it's going to be interesting to see how this one shakes out. I do still give our Royals a great chance to win this game, though, because they've stayed in and fought in pretty much every game this season, no matter how many um, guys get called up to the Phantoms or how many guys are unavailable due to protocols. Um, it's going to be interesting to see what they're able to do tonight. I would say this is going to be one of those games, though, that is a little bit sloppy early, particularly for our Reading Royals, because they haven't had a game in forever. So it's going to be a game they have to get their passes a little bit more crisp early, where you probably see a sloppy start, maybe, potentially, and then it just picks it up from there, and then we see the same team that we saw all season, which is a very good contender for this division team as soon as we get everything back going and churning, and we have everything kind of settled down uh, with the Omicron variant as well, rosters are more set down as the NHL now is the taxi squad at the beginning of the February, the All-Star break. But uh, Hayden Hawkey, it looks, is going to get another opportunity to shine um, in net tonight for the Reading Royals. So it's going to be interesting to see what he's able to do as Nagel was up with the Lehigh Valley Phantoms and Usti, of course, is the taxi squad. Um, so Hayden Hawkey is going to get his opportunity to shine. Um, I would say in this game, uh, bringing in somebody like Gagnon, who's a good uh, energy rookie. The Royals will have a little bit more spunk in their skates, even from not playing for a while. You added a very talented young player into a group of already a lot of talented young players like um, Strong, 
Cressy and others, Pritchard, who of course went up to the Rochester Americans, Patty Bykoff as well, um, who was on the team. You have a lot of very good youngsters on this team. And I think adding in another one is just going to bring in even more energy and spunk to this Royals team that already plays a cool kind of older style brand of hockey. You don't see enough with that energy, spunk, and physicality brand that I like seeing. But I hope you all enjoyed this quick preview to the Reading Royals versus the Anirondack Thunder tonight. Hopefully everything stays on track for the game is set to take place in about two and a half hours right now. Stay safe, everybody. Enjoy the game and enjoy the hockey. Let's go Royals. Continue to subscribe down below if you enjoy the content or up above on the easy-to-use widget. Go Royals. Win that game.